And so Solomon made a decision. But you know, it's interesting. He started out that way, but somewhere along the line, he got distracted. And about 30 years, 30 plus years of his life became a transition from the epic life that God had presented him with and offered to him to the lie of the epic lie of Satan. And he started out well, but he got distracted. And then he started building homes and he started building infrastructure within Israel that was magnificent. And he became a student of biology and science and became the wisest man on the planet. He became a, a student of literature and art and poetry. And he wrote the most incredible poetry on the planet ever. He became a person that was known uh, for the riches and the opulence of his life. He had anything and everything he wanted. He had as many women as, as, as any man could ever. I mean, talking about 72 virgins, I mean, m multiply that by 10, and that's where Solomon was. He had chariots and horses. I mean, he was a connoisseur of the best of the best of the best of the best. But it was empty for him. And this is what he said in chapter 1, verse 2 of Ecclesiastes. Meaningless, meaningless, says the teacher, Solomon. Utterly meaningless. Everything is meaningless. Wisdom is meaningless. Pleasures are meaningless. Work is meaningless. Advancement is meaningless. Wealth is meaningless. Everything is meaningless. A chasing after the wind. 